Beautiful, ooh, carp. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sunrise. What's going on guys? Noah with Madison Angling. I'm out with that guy up there casting on the wrong side. It's so weird, I don't like it. Alex Weber, who doesn't have any of his own musky rods. And we're doing a little musky fishing this morning. I actually had a cancellation last second and I was getting up early to go fishing anyway. So we're here and we haven't made a video in a really long time because I've been guiding every single day, haven't had any time to do anything other than work. So we're taking this opportunity to hopefully put a fish in the boat this morning or at least have something cool happen so I can make a video for you guys. So I'm gonna stop talking, we're gonna start casting and hopefully get some muskies moving. Late as usual. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, how are we doing? We're good now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Here. Look at the beautiful morning. It is. It is. At least we got that. All right, let's catch something. Last week and caught three. Here we go. Got her. Got, got her. her. Yep. Yep. Oh, she's off. Oh, no. That was a really good fish. Oh, oh man. Check our hooks here. It's on the Musky Frenzy Stagger. Super sharp. All right, keep casting. Motor's off. Whoa, he's eating something. You see that? He just killed something. Dude, that fish is like after something. I'm gonna spin. I'm gonna spin us around here. Hang on, dude. That thing was straight up eating something. It's it's been moving fish. I know. Well, I got another one in here. Someone wants to throw it. It's a uh, green and black. I might actually throw that green and black one just to throw something different. Same, same, but different. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's a good one, she's on it, she's on it. Come on, girl. Got her. Ready, she's coming in. Oh, nice. Ready, not hook super great. She's off again, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Twice. Same bait, same spot, different fish. Three. Perfect eat, perfect hook set. How did, I mean. All right, well, I'm going to keep throwing that. Dude, if it just yeah. went over lag for two seconds, it was in the net. But it did that second flare up. Did that thing jump straight out of the water? How did it hook? Yeah, it came all the way out, I think. Yeah, so that happened. Jeez. Well, wow. dude, hooks are hooks are good, man. Bait not so much. Yeah. <laughs> should, I, should we try it? <laughs> All right, let's try this again, guys. We got to get one here. Well guys, I got ditched. Alex and Jim both had to go to work and my guide trip this morning got canceled really, really last second, actually late last night. So, you know what? I'm taking the opportunity to just fish by myself. I don't get to fish alone very often and just kind of do my own thing and, and fish for fun. So, I'm gonna stay out here just a little bit longer. The weather still looks pretty juicy. See if I can't get just one more shot at a fish here this morning. 
um you know that first fish that hurt really bad that was a really really solid fish the second one um hurt even more because i know i got a really good hook set on that second one and it's kind of just been my luck lately a lot of a lot of stupid things going wrong that just really add up so hopefully i can get one more chance at a fish here this morning and actually get one in the bag all right guys so a question i get asked a lot is when do you know that it's time to switch baits uh, and the, my answer to that is kind of twofold so the, the first part of that answer is uh, if we're not getting any action you know we're throwing all kinds of stuff especially on a guide trip or if i'm fishing with buddies and there really isn't a discernible pattern you know we don't know what they're going on we're not having a lot of action we're not having consistent action I'll switch baits every, you know, 20, 30 minutes or so just to do something different to try to kind of narrow down what they might be interested in chasing on a given day. And the other reason for changing baits, for me anyways, is confidence. If, if I start to lose confidence in what I'm throwing, generally speaking, you start fishing sloppy. You're not working the bait properly. You get lazy at the boat. And that's when you blow opportunities on fish. So as soon as I start to lose confidence in what I'm throwing, then uh, then I'm gonna switch it up. So obviously, you know, I hooked and lost those two fish uh, this morning on the musky frenzy, that stagger. Uh, it's a, you know, black bucktail, two blades. So I'm going to something similar because obviously blades are working. So I'm going with a single nine Esox Assault bucktail. It's a black on black, similar profile, but instead of having two mismatched blades, I have one number nine blade on here. So it's the same profile, same color, but it's a little different. It has a little different wobble to it, a little different vibration, but still very similar. And I feel like this is enough of a change up that this could get eaten. So a lot of times when I switch my baits, I'm making a subtle change. It's either a blade change or a size change. But if I know a certain bait's working and I just, you know, I, for me, just for my sake, need to switch it up, I'm gonna switch up something small like that. It's either gonna be size or blade configuration, something like that. And, uh, and that's kind of the, I guess, the long answer for, you know, when I like to switch up baits. So, but that being said, if you keep getting bit on something, like if I, continued to move fish on that musky frenzy and having more action on it i'd still be throwing that but since they've seen that bait a bunch of times this morning now i'm going to switch it up a little bit throw something similar but different enough that hopefully it'll get their attention there we go there we go got you that time oh yeah on the esox assault single eight. Oh man did she smash that thing Trolling motor is off. Come on, girl. Okay, let's go to the front. Oh, this feels like a good fish, too. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Nope, nope, not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, girl, come here. Come here. Come here. Get in there. Yes! Woo! We got her. We freaking got her. Oh, spot lock. Let out some line. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, morning from hell. Finally got a fish in the bag, yes! So we're gonna get our bump board ready. Fish is comfortably sitting in the bag. Let's get our bump board wet. Lay her down. Musky bumper, custom Madison Angling guide service bump board. Thank you, musky bumper. Okay, so get out our handy dandy scanner here turn it on just for fun let's see if we got a tag in this girl not not looking like it no tag in this fish okay well let's grab our tools here let's get that hook out see what we got here that's a pretty big fish guys come on girl there it is one more hook point, hang on. There we go. All right, guys. 
So I had to, it's always more difficult to do this by yourself, but had to cut two of our hook points here, but that's the bait, Esox Assault, single nine. Absolutely smashed me. Okay, so I'm gonna move some camera stuff around here real quick, grab my glove. Let's see how big this girl is, man. That's a nice fish. All right, guys, so I am fishing alone right now, which kind of sucks for this part anyway, especially with a big fish like this. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this fish, guys. Oh, wow. All right. Don't know how well you guys can actually see with the camera sitting on the seat there, but that is a super, super fat fish. All right, we're gonna get around the bump here. Be nice, girl. I know you're so angry. You're hangry, I know. Where I'd at, nose touching, 46, 46 and a quarter. Just a hair over 46 and a quarter. All right, guys. <laughs> Just over 46 and a quarter inch. Beautiful, super fat. Look at how fat this thing is. Super fat. Madison Muskie, let's get this girl back. 46 and a quarter inches. What a gorgeous animal, of course. Uh, no tag on this fish, at least not from what I could tell. She's just gonna sit there for a second. She's upright, so she's fine. Grab my my reader here we're gonna scan her one more time oh no we're not she's gone holy cow nice guys of course lost two fish boat side right away having just a bad bad day and uh the Esox assault single eight coming through clutch on a 46 and a quarter just a hair over 46 and a quarter inch musky that's how you get that done all right guys well that is gonna wrap up my morning of musky fishing here I uh, got some weather moving in. Normally I'd stay out, but I got a bunch of other things to do. I don't get a lot of days off as it is. And today I have a little bit of time to do some stuff. So I'm going to get some stuff in around the house and, and hopefully maybe get this video edited too. Uh, but yeah, this morning started out kind of rough, losing the first two fish. First one was a really nice fish, probably like low 40s. Um, just not a good hook set. Second one, I don't know what happened, just lost it. And of course I dropped Jim and Alex off so they can go to work. And I go back up by myself and get a 46 and a quarter <laughs> solo. So I don't know if that means I should just not fish with them anymore or, uh, or what that's about. Maybe that was just karma. I don't know. And what's funny is that's actually the first fish I have put in the boat this year. Uh, I haven't done a ton of musky fishing this year. I've been running a lot of multi-species trips, bass, pike, panfish, walleyes, things like that. Uh, so I haven't had a lot of time to musky fish this year, but uh, that is my first musky of the season, 46 and a quarter. I'll take that. And uh, anyway, hopefully this is a start of something awesome. Hopefully I can find some more time to get out and make some videos. I know guys, it's been a long time. I'm trying really hard, guiding every day. You know, it just, it, it never ends. There's not a lot of time to get a lot of stuff done. So uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having some success fishing wherever you're at, whether it's here, Northern Wisconsin, wherever you're at. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would, please consider hitting that subscribe button down there, that red button. All it does is let you know when I put up a new video and that's it. All right, guys, I'm going to get the boat loaded and get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.